Welcome back guys, Patrick here, moving on to the next question. So if the magnitude of vector u is 6, magnitude of vector v is 10, and the angle between u and v is 30 degrees, find the magnitude of the projection of u onto v. Now, this is the magnitude of the projection. Another way to say this is the scalar projection. Right, both mean the same thing. Basically, the magnitude of the projection of u onto v is the scalar projection of u onto v. So just be aware that uh, if this question was worded in this way, it would be the same thing. Scalar projection of u on to v. So they can ask either or, both mean the same thing. Now, with scalar projection, there's two formulas you can use when uh, you're projecting u onto v. So one of them is u dot v, the dot product, over the magnitude of the vector you're projecting onto, so the magnitude of v in this case. And if it was just the vector projection, then it'd be the dot product over the magnitude squared times this vector but this is the scalar projection, it's not the vector projection. So it's just a quick way of getting that scalar projection instead of finding the vector projection and then finding the magnitude of that vector. Now, another way to get it is you can take the magnitude of u and just multiply it by cos of the angle between the vectors. Right? So depending on what you're given in the question, you can use either formula. And notice with what we're given here, we're going to be using this formula. So it's simply the magnitude of u, which is 6, times the angle in between them, cos 30. And this is 6 times cos 30 is root 3 over 2. So 6 over 2 is 3. So 3 root 3 is the answer to this question. Pretty quick, right? Well, I'm going to show you how it looks like on a diagram, how this formula is actually derived. Showing how this one is derived is a little bit more time consuming, so I'll do that in another video. But for now, let's show how this one is derived. So if we're projecting a vector u onto v, we're given u and v, the magnitudes of them, and the angle between them. The vector that we're projecting onto, you always want to draw that at the bottom. So this here is vector v. And vector v has a magnitude of 10. And then vector u is over here. So this is vector u, this is 6, and the angle in between them is 30 degrees. So when they're asking for the projection of u onto v, they're basically asking, you have to draw a straight line down from u to v, so this is perpendicular here, they're basically asking for this vector here up to that point. So this vector here would be the projection of u onto v. Well, they're not asking for that vector, they're asking for the magnitude of that vector, right? The scalar projection of u onto v. So if you think about it, notice how we have a right angle triangle here, right? If we ignore this part, so, writing this out again, like this. So this is 30, this is 6, and we're solving for this magnitude, so let's call it x. So notice we have the adjacent, the hypotenuse, so cos of 30 is equal to x over 6. And if we isolate for x, cross multiply, basically x is equal to 6 times cos 30 which is what we got right there. So that's how that formula is derived. They're just basically taking that right angle triangle and solving for that magnitude for this vector over here. And it's always the hypotenuse, so the vector that's getting projected onto the other one, the magnitude of it, so in this case it's six, right, because u is going onto v. So six times cos 30, because it's always gonna be that adjacent side. And uh, yeah, when you do that, you end up getting that same value, 3 root 3. So finding the scalar projection, you can use either formula, but in this case, we use this one. 
This formula is actually derived from this one. You can easily derive it. So u dot v, we know it's the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v times cos of the angle in between them, all over the magnitude of v. Well, notice that v is going to cancel out, and we're just going to be left with u, the magnitude of u, times cos theta. Right, and we were given the magnitude of u, we're given the angle in between, so we can just plug it into that simple formula right there.